At the end of May 2017, a meeting took place between Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman and Japanese businessman Masayoshi Son. This meeting ended with Masayoshi convincing the Crown Prince to invest $45 billion in the Vision Fund, which is the largest investment fund in the global technology field. The question that everyone had in mind was whether this man was lucky or was adept at convincing anyone to get an investment. And after researching and digging a little, we find that all the events that are taking place in the world of technology recently have a common factor between them, which is Masayoshi-san and SoftBank. So, who is this man? And how did he manage to establish the empire of SoftBank? And most importantly, how was he able to convince the world's top businessmen to invest in his fund? August 11th, 1957, Masayoshi was born in Japan to Korean parents, and he lived in a very poor family, and he was bullied for his Korean ancestry. But as a child, he was serious and determined in his studies, which made him obtain a scholarship to study programming in the United States. When in the university, Masatoshi had to work to support himself, but he only wanted to work for five minutes a day and earn $10,000 a month and he believed that the only way he could do to achieve that was a patent, hence the idea of making the first translation device and sold it to Sharp for $1.7 million. And then he invented another device and sold it for $1.5 million. This made him own $3.2 million before completing his first year at the university. After graduating, Sun returned to Japan in 1981, and he was thinking of a project to create. But he had more than 40 ideas, so in order to settle on one, he set some criteria for himself, which are important for us to hear. First, he must love the idea he will choose and be passionate about it. Second, his project must succeed within the next 10 years. Therefore, his choice fell on a new idea at the time in Japan, which was to sell computer software. In the 80s, with the spread of computers, programs were few and people did not know where to buy them. And this was the idea of SoftBank, which was collecting software from developers and presenting it to consumers. In order to test this idea, he purchased a large stand at a technology fair in Japan, invited developers, and offered to display their software for free. The attendance was at that time, historically, what made the name SoftBank known in the field of technology. Two weeks after the exhibition, SoftBank received a call from a technology company that wanted to contract with them. But the problem here is that Masayoshi literally drained all his money on the stand, so he had to get a loan. He went to a well-known bank and told them that his company is still small and that he does not have any guarantees, but he needs a loan of $750,000. At first, everyone laughed at him, but when he met with the bank manager, he was able to convince him of the idea, so the manager gave him the loan on his personal guarantee. It is worth noting that to this day, SoftBank holds an annual day to celebrate the people who helped them, and this man is among the list of people. After securing the loan, Masayoshi started working on his project. In just one year, the company's revenues increased from $10,000 per month to more than two million dollars and after only three years he managed to control half of all computer software sales in japan and not only did he settle on programs but he was investing in all areas in which he could invest so much that in 1999 his personal wealth was increasing by 10 billion dollars every week and he was the most famous person in japan because at that time he became the richest man in the world for three days but this joy did not last. In 1999, technology stocks were very high, but these numbers were just a bubble and it exploded, which made Masayoshi's fortune drop from $105 billion to $2 billion, and he is the only person who lost this amount of his wealth in history. But Masayoshi did not despair, and in 2005, he was certain that the future was for the internet, especially the mobile internet. He applied for a telephone service provider license from the Japanese government, but his request was rejected, which made him think of buying an already existing company. At that time, Vodafone Japan was on sale. It was worth $20 billion, but he did not have that amount, so he applied for a loan of $18 billion, which had been refused at first, but in the end, he managed to get the money. Since that time, SoftBank has become one of the largest financial and investment institutions in the whole world, and it has had a hand in the rise of many international companies, such as Alibaba, which was invested in with the amount of $20 million, which has now turned into $60 billion. This man has a different view of investments and can see the future of companies, and despite the violent shocks he received, he continues with his crazy investments. This was the story of the day. As for my question to you, do you think that Masayoshi Sun's method of investing is the correct method? Answer us in the comments. See you in the next episode.